Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's get into Piotr Jan versus Aljamain Sterling. Aljo should be next in line to fight Jan for the belt. So let's not waste any time and get into this matchup. All right, so Piotr Jan just won the bantamweight belt defeating legend jose aldo finishing him jan has sensational boxing he has a lengthy boxing background and training and it certainly shows very technical on the feet he's aggressive he could take a shot he mixes things up but he mostly does his damage with his hands good combinations good footwork you name it his ground game is there he does have a ground game if i'm not mistaken he has a background in wrestling and sambo just one tough customer to deal with right now jan's on a 10 fight win streak which is just remarkable aljamain sterling aka aljo is currently on a five fight win streak pretty impressive as well in his last fight he won via submission defeating Corey sanhagen dominant performance Aljamain's strong point, I would say, is his submission grappling, being a disciple of Matt Serra. He has eight submission wins on his record. Aljamain is very powerful, strong for the division, super athletic. On the feet, he's constantly improving. He gets a little wild in there, but sometimes that works to your benefit. He's unpredictable. He'll throw spinning back fists, wild head kicks, body kicks, not afraid to try things in there, which could leave you open. But at the same time, like I said, there are benefits to being unpredictable and wild. All right, so how would Aljo and Piotr Jan match up in that cage? Well, technical-wise and skill-wise on the feet, I'm going to have to give it to Jan. I think if this fight were a pure striking battle, I would think Jan would get the better of those exchanges. He's just very crisp. The defense is there. Very polished stand-up. Aljamain, he's dangerous. He has power. He's athletic. He's strong. But he gets a little crazy in there. And I think if he leaves openings for Jan... Jan is going to exploit them. Jan comes forward, he picks you apart, hits you to the head, to the body. He will exploit those openings that Aljo gives him. Now let's talk about the ground battle. Jan is more than capable of handling himself on the ground. I think he'll be difficult to take down, but if the fight were to hit the mat, it will be very interesting. And submission grappling wise, you gotta give it to Aljo. Aljo's BJJ is awesome. Just crisp, technical, break you down, systematic BJJ. But it kind of depends on the positioning. If Aljo's on the bottom, that may be an issue for him. Because like I see Jan stacking him up, landing ground and pound, and not really going into the spider's web. Just landing his shots, standing back up. Now if Aljamain Sterling gets top position, if he could sweep Jan, if he is on the bottom, that's going to be big problems for Piotr. So on the ground again, pure grappling. I'm going to give it to Aljamain Sterling. But this is MMA, it's not a grappling competition. And when you mix in those strikes and everything else, it changes a lot. Fight pick for me, it's a great matchup. I think it'll be competitive and close. Sterling is no joke, but I think Piotr Jan takes it. It's tough to say though. Another factor is going to be the pure strength and athleticism. We have to see how Jan deals with Sterling's strength and speed. Sterling can shoot him for a double leg, a single leg, and just bully you to the mat. But that also exerts a lot of power. Jan is very conditioned. And that's another point, the cardio aspect. I think Jan has better cardio. He seems very well conditioned. But in this fight, guys, yeah, I think I will lean towards Jan. I think he's going to be better on the feet. I think his takedown defense is going to be good enough to somewhat stifle Sterling, not let him take it to his world. And if it does go to the ground, I think Jan could get back to the feet. I think Sterling's best bet is to try to get this fight to the mat because that's definitely more his world. But can he do it? Closing at distance without taking big shots from Jan, it's going to be tough. But you guys let me know about this fight. Who do you think wins and why in the comment section? Exciting one, guys. Hope they book it soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, click subscribe. Also important, like and share. Helps the channel grow. Appreciate you guys. And until the next one, take care.